Hey everyone, it's Logan, and this is a video a lot of you have been waiting for. This is the Thrills United Regional Representative Q&A. And we just got all the answers back, and it turned out there was like three hours of footage. So we're splitting them into 10 different videos, and this is the first installment. And most of them were able to answer most of the questions. A few people weren't able to because they're stuck with schoolwork and stuff, but most of them are answering a lot of your guys' questions. So the first question is, how did you become a coaster enthusiast? And most of you guys know the story that I got into roller coasters by watching POVs, but I'll give you a little more detail on that. I remember like six years ago, I discovered this video called the world's scariest and fastest rides in roller coasters. That was the first roller coaster video I've ever watched. And it was by someone with like 36 subscribers. It wasn't even that good. It was just POV set to copyrighted music. But I was just fascinated that like these massive roller coasters aren't just in cartoons. They actually exist and actually feature real riders. And the next day I went to Kings Island for the first time in like seven years. And that was the first time I really saw like Diamondback and Beast and Racer. And I thought no way I would ride them. But I just love looking at them like, wow, someone really made these and trains can really glide along the track like that. I just thought it was an incredible thing to look at. And as my fascination grew and grew, I eventually rode the coaster that got me into coasters, which was Flying Gates Aerial Chase about a year later. And after I rode that, I wanted to ride bigger, better and faster coasters and the rest is history. So here are the rest of the regional reps answering this question. I first discovered my love for coasters when I was two years old and I rode Goofy's Barnstormers at Disney World. I first realized that I loved coasters and wanted to be an enthusiast was when I went to Worlds of Fun for the first time in 2012 and I was still kind of scared of them but I thought they were amazing still and I knew that I wanted to be an enthusiast. So my story to when I first became an enthusiast, loved roller coasters, you know, um, I was going on a field trip to Lake Compounds, um, for school, and I was like, I hadn't been to a park since I was like six, and I was terrified of going upside down, going really high, stuff like that, because the biggest thrill ride I had been on was Wooden Warrior. I started, like, researching, which led me to Coaster Studios, which eventually led me to Coaster Kids, and I was like, wow, this is this is very interesting. And I kind of started to research more. And then I went to Lake Compounds. I didn't really ride much. I think I rode Downtime and thought I was like crazy, which is their drop tower. Um, and then I eventually was, I went to uh, Six Flags New England with Skylar. And she made me ride like everything. I remember going up the Superman left hill, like, I don't want to do this, I don't want to do this, I'm terrified. And it's just like, too late now. And then I remember hitting the brake on being like, whoa. <laughs> so then we rode a bunch of different things and I got home and I was like, that was crazy. Like, and then I just researched and researched until, and like went to Six Flags a bunch more time until I went to like Great Adventure and stuff. And I was like, I think I'm an enthusiast, and then I got on Coaster Kids. I'm not gonna lie, I've always had a passion for roller coasters ever since I was two years old. So I'd say since 2006, I've really always known about roller coasters. Like, I still remember hearing tons of news about Son of Beast, Hypersonic XLC, and I still remember following announcements. Like, the first coaster I remember I really followed construction with was Full Throttle, and I think I was nine years old at the time when that was announced, or just turned ten. But it was when I rode Rip Ride Rocket in 2015 for the first time at Universal. That is really what made me want to focus on coasters. And then once I rode Mako, that just took all my fears away and I just really rode every coaster I just saw. So I definitely say Rip Ride Rocket is what changed me, but I am glad that I can still say I remember all those coasters operating when I was still into them. So I live in Oregon now, but I'm actually from Los Angeles originally. So when I was a lot younger, I used to go to Disneyland a lot. And that's what really fostered my love of theme parks in general. But when it comes to coasters in particular, when I was about six years old, my parents got me this magazine thing. Uh, I don't even think this is the original cover. I think I've looked through it so much that it's actually fallen off. But this thing is the singular thing that made me take such an interest in roller coasters.
first realized that I loved roller coasters after I visited my home park Six Flags over Texas about three times and rode Batman the Ride. I didn't necessarily realize I wanted to be an enthusiast, but I wanted to try a big roller coaster. So when I was nine years old, we did a trip to Legoland and Disney in Florida, and I wanted to try rock and roller coaster just to give it a shot, try a big roller coaster. And I did, but we went to Legoland first and I had a hard time getting on those coasters, but I got myself to do it, overcame my fear, then did rock and roller coaster. <laughs> And then eventually after that, I'm like, ooh, I want to go to Carolyn since it's right down the road. And I tried Intimidator, liked it, and eventually just fell in love with coasters. I never really decided that I wanted to become an enthusiast, just something that happened slowly. Um, I wrote my first coaster as I was only two years old or something like that. And then I just wrote more and more, and I wrote my first thrilling coaster, at least for my age. It was uh, a Gerstler Bobsled coaster, Thor Summer and Jewel Summer, and when I was five years old. and then I just grew up and rode some more intense coasters and slowly became a coaster enthusiast. I realized I really liked roller coaster soon after Luna Ever closed, as I found out about RCDB and I used to spend hours and hours looking at coasters around the world. And I think that passion just grew up with me uh, during the time and when I finally had the chance to, I started traveling for, uh, to ride coasters and yeah, that that is the reason, I guess. I first started realizing that I loved coasters at the age of more or less 13 to 14 when I faced my fears on riding Medusa Steel Coaster. Um, it started for me at Universal Studios. Um, I wanted to go there because I was in Florida. I liked Harry Potter. And when I went there, I was willing to try the roller coasters just because I liked Harry Potter and I didn't think as much of them as when I had been at Cedar Point previously and they seemed more intimidating because they were just roller coasters for the sake of being roller coasters. And at Harry Potter, it's like they were Harry Potter themed, so I wanted to go on them. Um, and then after that, the next summer, I asked my parents to go to Cedar Point because I was like, well, roller coasters aren't that bad. I want to go try, go to Cedar Point. After that, um, I went to Kings Island. This was still just when I loved roller coasters. I had watched a little bit of Coaster Kids and I happened to meet Logan at Kings Island and that's when I really started to get into the community and started um, considering myself well-educated and well-immersed like immersed in the community enough to be a coaster enthusiast. It actually was only in 2018 in August when my cousin pushed me on Behemoth at Canada's Wonderland and I absolutely loved it and I started doing all this research and I discovered all the amazing coasters around the world and I'm like, wow, I want to ride those. All right, so uh, how some of you probably were, uh, I used to be scared of roller coasters and if I'm being honest, sometimes I still do get scared. But anyways, way back in the day, many years ago when Gwazi was still at Busch Gardens Tampa, uh, I decided to ride it. I had this motivation to ride it. My family was there and uh, I ended up liking it. You know, I was still scared of it, but I still conquered my fear. I was proud of myself, but it didn't turn me into an enthusiast. But that changed back in 2018, I believe, somewhere around there where I rode X-Flight at my home park, Six Flags Great America. And uh, it all kind of just snowballed after that. I kept riding more coasters, conquering more coasters, finding out information about them on YouTube. And uh, and that's kind of what made me an enthusiast, that interest, that spark, and uh, just snowballing off of that. In 2014, so about six years ago, I realized I've never ridden like a thrilling roller coaster. So I did research and um, the next year in 2015, I went to Six Flags and I loved it. I knew I wanted to be an enthusiast after riding the Python at the F-Lane for the first time. I loved roller coasters all my life, but I found out that I was an enthusiast after watching a bunch of different videos and finding about the coaster community in general, and now here I am. So that's it. It's pretty obvious that there's a ton of other ways to get into roller coasters, which I think is really cool. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this segment. The next one is going to be What's the most thrilling experience you've ever had outside of riding roller coasters? So have an amazing day. We'll see you guys later.